Okay, question of the day. Um, I said I was going to make this a regular thing, so two days in a row. Um, we'll see how we keep that up. And uh, I might take Christmas Day off, we'll see. Um, question of the day today from Michael Deswart. Um, is it okay to leave a bike in the car in the hot sun? Does the high temperature damage the frame and carbon wheels? Great question. So to answer that question, first of all, the um, it depends on what your definition of a hot sun is. So in uh, in Australia, when you know, it can often get uh, 40 degrees Celsius plus. Um, so what's that? That's sort of 105, 110 Fahrenheit. Um, you know, I put a dud logger in the car one time on a hot day to measure what it was, and uh, you know, and it got to about 85 degrees Celsius. Um, so, you know, that's, that's pretty warm, that's pretty warm. So other areas will vary, um, you know, maybe in the Middle East it might be a bit more, um, maybe in parts of Europe um, a bit less, or in, in the US might be a bit less somewhere, in, I mean, if big country. So obviously, you know, that depends on the ambient temperature. But I think the rule of thumb is um, it can be 40 to 45 degrees higher than what the ambient is so you know if you're if your ambient is 30 then you, it could be it could be around 70 degrees celsius so so how does that affect the bikes um, and the parts well typically the most of the most of the resins um that are used in the in the pre-preg systems that most of the bikes are made out of are, are cured at typically sort of between 120 and 140 degrees celsius so, and typically they can handle that cure, like they can handle an ambient temperature of similar to that cure temperature. So, so if we base on, if we base it that they can typically handle 120 Celsius or what's that about 250 two, two Fahrenheit, um, they'll be good in, they'll be okay in the, in the car. The mechanical properties can be reduced a little bit. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a whole bunch of variables with that. and. And in the tropics where it's, you have high humidity, that can reduce your mechanical properties a little bit as well um, Yeah, at, at elevated temperature. So you know, based on that, your typical frame will be okay in, in the car. Um, coming to wheels, the braking, the braking temperatures, um, you know, I think a typical braking temperature is roughly 280 degrees Celsius. Um, you, can, you know, can get up to that level. So if it, if you can't handle 80 degrees in your, in your car, you've got you're going to have braking problems. Uh, you know, you're going to have some major issues. So um, so typically on the wheels to handle the the braking temperatures, they'll run a, a, a higher temperature capacity resin, um, which yeah, you know they have they have other characteristics as well. So the only other thing to be concerned about. In, in the car is if you've got um, if you've got some of the heat molding shoes so I know um, Bont and some of the others make a, a heat molding shoe um, and that goes soft at sort of I think around around the 60 70 degrees so you could have your shoe in you know your shoes in the car and you come back and you go and put them on and they've changed shape for instance you know so that's less than ideal um, the other thing is some of the early carbon products were made using um, using a wet layup system or you know lower you know they were cured at lower temperatures and so then they weren't a able to handle those those sort of higher temperatures as well so um, so some of the wheels some of the early um, like three spoke wheels and disc wheels etc um, and and, and frames um, from the very early days that people made in their garages or backyards or, or whatever. Um, but then that also sort of leads to, uh, to repairs. So if, uh, if you have your bike repaired and the person doing the repair hasn't used a higher temperature uh, capable resin system, then during, uh, you, you have the bike in the, in, in the car for instance, and you know it's getting nice and hot you take it out you go and ride it and that repair may fail because it's um 
the resin properties are significantly reduced. So that's why it's important to use uh, very high quality resins on, on repairs, um, you know, exactly for those sorts of applications. So, uh, you know, it's not just, not just at room temperature. If, if you live in the Arctic or whatever and you never have, uh, you never see any high temperatures, yeah, probably not as critical, but you know. Um, yeah, so we'll leave it at that. Hope that answers your question. Um, let's uh, keep going with question of the day next time. All right, see you later on. Bye.